Hey guys, today I'm going to take you on the behind the scenes of December's photo shoot. So this is our last photo shoot, team photo shoot of 2023 and I hope you guys enjoy. Huh? Are you looking at my butt or what? How can you not look like these? Let's see, I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, I love that one. Can I show it to the camera? Wow, that was so great. Wow, I don't know how to twerk. I just have the goods. That's all I have. What are you eating, Lani? A donut! <laughs> what about you, Eliana? I already ate it. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating donuts. So who's gonna pick up the leg? Okay, we'll get the leg. 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 Okay, we'll get the leg
my name is Lani. I've been with Eva for a little over a year. The thing that I've achieved over the last year that's been the most important to me is A, consistency, and B, that I've gotten stronger than I used to be. The reason I decided to join her coaching is her approach is a more personal approach. She takes time to understand, like, not just your goals, but also how your personal life affects you achieving those goals and works with you in that to uh, get to where you want to be. How I feel about the photo shoot experience is very rewarding um, because we see ourselves every day and we're very critical of ourselves. So to take a moment to have something like this done that you can reflect upon and actually look at yourself in a different light um, is pretty cool. When I talked to Eva about doing it the first time, her big push was about doing something just for you. You know, a lot of the women that she works with are, you know, wives, moms, working women. And we, as women, don't take a lot of time for ourselves to stop and celebrate us, um, our achievements and the progress we've made. So it is really cool to do something just for you. And those memories last a lifetime. Hi, my name is Eliana, and I've been uh, with Eva now since June, so about six months. Ever since I've been with her back in June, I've been able to lose over 20 pounds. Going to the gym now, something I didn't do before. Now doing gym workouts, I see a big difference in the progress in building my muscle, and it has pushed me to want to keep going and go heavier, uh, something that I was scared to do before. Uh, being a girl, you know, we don't want to get too bulgy or lose our hourglass figure, but it actually has helped it more. Uh, now doing, you know, the leg presses and squats with the barbell, um, things that I wouldn't think about doing before when my home workouts. Um, but with Eva's help, I've been able to do it um, heavier and heavier every month. Doing the photo shoot has been so much fun. I thought I was gonna be nervous, but I can honestly say I am not. I'm actually having fun and getting smiles, and it's something that I would definitely do again. So, let's talk about the experience of your first photo shoot. At first, I was relaxed. I wasn't really too worried about it, but once it came down to my time slot, I did start getting nervous. Um, but once I started taking the pictures and seeing the results, um, I really liked it. Yeah, it was a nice way to see yourself mm -hmm. in a different view, huh? Yes. How was your experience? Rewarding because I can look at those pictures and see how far I've came from yeah. 50 pounds ago. <laughs> yeah, that's a big goal. Yeah. And what do you guys like? What is the biggest changes that you guys have like made um, with your diets? Do you feel like like um, you know, do you guys feel like you're getting restricted? Do you, do you enjoy your diet? Do you feel I like you're on a weight loss? I don't feel like I'm on a diet at all. I just feel more balanced every time I'm making food choices. Just go based off of having balanced meals and it makes time, it makes when we want to have a time to eat out or, you know, um, something fatty or you know extra carby makes it special makes it yeah it makes it that much more uh, no regrets because you get right back on track right after that yeah yeah it's um it doesn't feel like a diet because she goes based off of what you usually eat and then she just gives you the portion sizes which i struggled with um, so it's very helpful and then you do get off planned meals, which is beneficial when you do have those cravings, um, and that's how you get your results. And what did you guys get today? How many donuts did you guys eat? <laughs> One. <laughs> that's because she, she birdie had hers now. I started earlier. Again, no regrets. All right, so yesterday we didn't vlog anything after the photo shoot, but today... Sunday morning, we're gonna go ahead and give Portos a try because my husband wanted to know what the fuss was about with the huge line. We actually skipped the huge line outside. So we'll let you guys know what we think. So this is what I got, a corterito, and then we're gonna go ahead and try the coconut strudel, the guava strudel, and we had a cookie that we already ate. Cookie was good. Thumbs up. And we got a meat pie. 
but we're gonna save that for later. So we're just gonna try, try them and if we don't like it that much, we're gonna not eat them all. All right, so we had our treats from Portos and what was your verdict? It was good. Okay. It was good. I mean, it's it's. I don't think it's worth the major line, but it's good. Yeah, I can see what people are talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was okay. I mean, I, I had Portos before. Don't want to offend people, but you know, last year we went to Florida, and in Florida we had this like Cuban uh, bakery place where I tried all their guava stuff and it was delicious and I've been looking for a Cuban bakery in California and I just haven't found it. I think we're gonna have to go to Florida again. Yeah, I mean you you've been wanting to go to Florida so <laughs> it's gonna happen again. So here's what we do we kind of cut things in half we share we take bites and if we are not like a huge fan we just don't eat the whole thing and we get to enjoy it and not go overboard. All right, bye. Hey guys, so it has been a few weeks after the behind the scenes of the photo shoot and I realized that I am the worst when it comes to ending videos and also giving a summary about the photo shoot. So December 2023's photo shoot was our last team photo shoot out of three and I really love all these photo shoots. So this is our confidence photo shoot where, you know, a lot of my clients have been on their weight loss journey and also consistency. Everybody's goal is a lot different than um, everyone. And the goal is to celebrate those journeys of them being consistent in their journey, pushing themselves to, you know, making sure they prioritize themselves. So this is what the photo shoot is about. It's actually them having the most amazing time for themselves. And the other thing is like, oftentimes we see ourselves every day that we don't see the changes or we don't think that we, you know, a lot of times you are not exactly where you still want to be and you're not realizing how good you look. And that's probably the best part of the photo shoot for me is really my clients looking at themselves in a different way and realizing how much they have changed over you know their journey how much different they look how better they feel like all those things it's super amazing so i hope you had a really great time seeing a little bit behind the scenes obviously i'm not sharing everything um you know and i am super excited for the new ones that are coming up for 2024